Hey guys, Chris here from flippingcars.co.uk and welcome to another day in the life of flipping cars. Each and every week I receive lots of emails from people asking me how to get into this business as either a hobby, a part-time job to make a bit more money each week or as a full-time business. And most of them said the same thing to me. Look Chris, I'm not a mechanic and I don't know a lot about cars. So in this episode, I'm taking it back to basics and showing you and everyone else how to get into flipping cars the easy way. So I'm just about to leave for the auction, but before I go, I'm gonna do a little bit of auction research. I wanna find out what cars are there and narrow that list down because there's gonna be about 400 cars up for sale today and there's no way I'm gonna get time in two hours to go through 400 cars. So I'm gonna choose something that's been assured. So it's had a mechanic inspection by an AA guy. I'm gonna choose something with a decent condition, so good cosmetically. So I'm gonna choose something between a grade one and a grade three, grade one being showroom ready, grade three meaning it's probably got some scuffs and might need a little bit of body shop time, but I'm gonna try and keep it down to literally needing just a mop and a polish where I possibly can. I don't wanna bring a car back that's gonna be tied up for a week in the body shop and cost me more money. So we're doing basics today. We want something nice and clean and we want something mechanically sound. Well, I've just arrived down at the auction house. Plenty of cars to choose from. I've done my auction research. I'm ready to rock and roll, but unfortunately, I can't film in a live auction hall. They just don't let you do it. There's probably people there that don't want to be on camera anyway. So I can't film inside. Wish me luck, and I'll let you know how I get on. So I was lucky enough to win this Fiat 500, and I've gone for the lounge spec, I always do. Because look, you get the alloy wheels and the stunning pan roof with the lounge spec. The pop spec doesn't come with that. So it doesn't sell as good. And what you'll notice, it's also black. These are normally always a, a white cream colour. So it's nice to get it in a different colour. It's got a few issues. Got a bit of scratch into the door and the rear panel. If you can get your fingernail in the scratch, it won't polish out. In this instance, it just goes straight over. So, with a bit of elbow grease and a bit of polish, that will come up nice. The only other real issue is it is filthy. Look at the stain into those seats. So it's worth investing in a vax to get that cleaned up to showroom standard. What you'll also notice, it's got the stunning cream contrasting interior with the piano black dash that is lovely that's going to be a great seller so i just need to get a really good valet on this get those seats cleaned up nicely and get a good mop get those scratches polished out so it's really important as well as the interior make sure you clean the engine bay as well that's a little bit dirty but if you clean it it's going to show the potential purchaser that you really cared for the car look for the paperwork and the bonus for this one it's even had the cam belt kit and water pump done already so anything done with this and the old keeper got it done that shows the car's been looked after So I've just nicked next door to my local body shop. Top tip, make sure you make friends with a decent local body shop. It will save you a lot of hassle in the long term. And Gaz is gonna have a look at this body work for me. As I said, this car's going to need a bit of elbow grease put into it, but that elbow grease doesn't need to be yours, and I can tell you what, it's certainly not going to be my elbow grease. Get other people to do it for you. It's far more cost effective.
And here's the local valeters washing those seats down for me and also giving it a polish to bring that paintwork up to standard. And the final job on my list prior to listing it on Auto Trader is to get a fresh MOT put on the car. I've put the car up on Auto Trader for 4795. I don't like to take offers on cars, so I'm going to try and get the full list price for it. I wouldn't bother wasting my time listing this car on some of the other Mickey Mouse sites. You just don't get the quality leads. So I've stuck it on Auto Trader and let's see how we get on. Hey guys, so my customer just been and she's bought the car. She offered me 4,700 for it. Now it was up for 4,795. I don't normally discount my cars at all, but she's come a long way. Um, so I've sold it for 47. So let's have a look at the sums. I bought the car for 3,700. I paid 150 pounds on a warranty, 35 pounds on MOT, 50 pounds on a valet and 50 pounds on a mop. So in total, I'm in it for 3,985. Sale price of 47 leaves me with £715 profit, so not too bad at all for probably the sum total of two hours' work on my behalf. Um, of course, I want to make more money than that on my cars, but for a very simple flip where I've done no mechanical work and no body work, that has made me a great profit. I hope you enjoyed that video on how to get into flipping cars the easy way. If you did, don't forget to come across to flippingcars.co.uk forward slash training and check out my online training options. There's plenty of help for anybody and everybody on how to get into the business of flipping cars.